Well, what's the crack? You're all very welcome to episode 134 of Buckshot for Monday, the 27th of January, 2019. What's the crack, everybody? How are you getting on? Huh? How was the weekend? Was it rough? Or was it a light one? You on the rollies, making your lunches, huh? drinking cans? Fucked. Fuck, paydays next week, lads. Don't worry. You'll be all right. Paydays next week. You'll be okay. What's the crack, everybody? We're back with another episode of Buckshot. If it's your first time listening, hit subscribe, lads. Because these, uh, these interview episodes now have a good few, good few people lined up. So we'll have one a week anyway. Also, there is the Ramble Pod over on the Patreon, which we'll be moving there after episode 80. Uh, I think I've told you all about that, but you know what? Also, people were kind of going, hey, well, well, what's with the ads? They, they put the ads in. The crowd I load with put the ads in, but there's no ads. If you hate ads, if that's your one reason that you, you don't even care about contributing to the podcast. If you hate ads, there's no ads over on the episodes on the Patreon page. Link below in the show notes. Also, just want to tell you about Harden Up, the new podcast with myself and Owen Colgan. Episode one. We've done the pilot, episode one. And it, it's shaping up. You know, that kind of way we're letting it go organically. We're not going out the gate like going, this is the stock thing we must say, like radio or tell, you know, and some successful podcasts do go that way no doubt but um we, we're kind of back in our own uh our own uh humor you know but so we're we're not putting too much in the way of structure bit a bit more structured than typical buckshot and all the rest of it but there's a bit you know you're gonna like it you're gonna like it if you enjoy listening to the likes of myself and colgan you're gonna enjoy this episode one will be out this thursday morning so look for harden up um i'll put the the link to it in the show notes for the uh the apple people it's the general general thing, you know what I mean? So, but look for, it's everywhere else. It's fucking everywhere else. I've been podcasting like a bastard, doing other people's podcasts and everything. Um, so like that, if you want to swip, swatch, swatch over, switch over even onto the Patreon page, you'll get all the Ramble Pods. There is the back catalogue of the Tom and Jerry show down the bottom too, if you go looking for it. There's 18 episodes of myself and Jerry McBride, if that doesn't entice you. Uh, but at the very least, hit subscribe to this. At least it'll pop up in your phone on the regular. And if you are listening on Apple Podcasts, don't forget to hit the five-star review. Other than that, I don't want to, want to know. I've talked about this ad nauseum. There's also the merch shop and all the rest of it. All these will be in the show notes below. But one thing I would like you to ask, I, I would ask, um, herself is, uh, I mean, we've all, all in one way or another, we've all, family members and whatnot, been uh, touched by the fucking big C, the cancer. So herself is Natasha has never cut her hair above her her fucking her rib cage nearly. She has a long head of hair. If anybody's seen pictures of her nose or whatever, so she is chopping it right up to her chin nearly. She's chopping off just over a foot of her hair. Um, in the next fortnight, I think. So she's chopping it off for people who need who need hair after chemo and all the rest of it. And it's it's raising it's basically for friends of Saint Luke's cancer, but they use the hair. To make wigs and all the rest, of it. she's uh, she has an eye, up on the i donate dot ie. It'd be great if you could see, if you you know sidestep whatever else you know. If you were going to buy a packet of fucking crisps and a chalky bar, leave it off. Throw it a couple of fucking euros at this because it's you know you know yourself. Every fucking one of us has somebody fucking who's had to deal with this shit, and it's a nice thing to do. You know what I mean? Chopping off her hair and all the rest of it. So I'll put the link in the show notes. But if you go to i donate i as in just I D O N A T E dot I E and just look for Natasha O'Mahony. You'll find it'll pop up. Um and just donate whenever you can. That'll be fantastic. Um anything, anything. They have set denominations there, but type in whatever you can. It's all going to a great cause. Um and plus out the top end of it, it's not like she's just doing a walk or a climb for a fucking Kilimanjaro or something. She's actually somebody's gonna get a head of hair, a wig for it as well. So that uh, on a personal note, I'd like you to fucking have a gander at that. That'll be at the top of the show notes if you look down below. Um, gigs coming up for people that were Ashkin and all the rest of it. So I think I've answered everybody's question. A lot of people have been asking about Harden Up and when it's coming out. People have been asking about the ads. That answers the ads one. If you don't like ads, yeah, tough shit. And you don't want to go over to the Patreon page and become a Patreon, then you got to suck them up. There they are. It's part of the gig. It's got to start. Now, here's the thing. You ain't making big money off ads on these ads on these things, I can tell you. Well, coming up next, I'm in the punchline with Colin Geddes down in UCH Panto. Um, stick it on the telly. Thursday night, 10.30 after, I think, is it Love Island? I wonder, or Daisy Things, Meeting Singles in the Restaurant. Whatever the fuck that's called. 
Um, I think it's on after that. And then 31st, I'm out in Ashbourne in the Fox's Den at Ashbourne Comedy Club. Then immediately after, two days, a couple of days later, I'm in the Roisin Dove. Fucking beautiful. Back in Galway. In Dante's Comedy Club on Friday night. Um, Cherry Comedy on the 10th. City Limits, Cork on the 15th. And then 22nd, I'm in Chaplin's 25th. I'm back in the punchline with Danny O'Brien. And then Caveman and then a Skillen. So that's up your fucking pipe, lads. Right, moving on to today's guest. That's all that stuff out of the way. Rate and subscribe and fucking all the usual thing. Today's guest, Aoife Dooley, she's been on before. She, uh, she's just powerful crack. Just a powerful crack woman. I, the sort of woman you could just set record and go, let's talk about fucking thumbtacks. And we'd have an hour's talking about it. Um, I had I never have a plan properly, unless it's, you know, somebody who's done a lot of sporting things you want to ask them dance around those things but there's no need in the plan with the likes of Aoife because she's just a legend just one of those absolute we'll chat the ears off each other I can't even fully remember where we went with it um, we talked about just just the minefield as she starts to come up you know what I mean her you know her stock starts to rise the minefield of how you have to be more fucking careful and what you're saying your average person can just fucking shout at the internet but she's got to be very careful nowadays because of course she's a lot of fucking sensitive people around her in the arty world they get fucking and people think they own everything about you um, Eva suffers with well she doesn't suffer with it she actually just has autism and it's good how she talks how she just powers through with it she understands the level she has but if nothing else, it gives the woman fantastic fucking focus because she's got a fine business going with some of the best art. I got a piece of art off her, the one that I kept on rabbiting about. And I wasn't pushing for it. I wasn't, but she had one hanging on the wall. And people, go to her shop. You have to go go on to her, online to her shop. It's called onlymassive.ie. It's .com. Onlymassive.com. Some of her, her prints are just mm, delicious. The print she gave me said, life's tough, but so are you, you mad cunt. How fucking, how much is that me? It was like, I, I, was, I was buying it anyway. And she went, nah, here, here you go. And she gave me a signed one and everything. So I'm fucking delighted with myself. With no further ado, please welcome to your ears, Eva Dooley. <laughs> welcome back, Eva Dooley, to Buckshot. Over a year now. Over a year. A year and two months, to be exact. It's been fucking... It's been a great, it, like, I'm not saying it's all down to the podcast, but you have had, your career has gone on an unbelievably good tra- trajectory. Not saying it's all down to the fact that you were on Buckshot. <laughs> oh no, it was definitely the podcast, it was definitely, no, definitely, God, thanks for having me on that time. Don't yeah, know yeah where, I know, know I, do you know what, I can't wait to see what happens next after being on it this time again. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you, you bring good luck, you're like a lucky charm. Do you know what, you're, t- I, I, because we're looking up, Back, just look it up. And your new, like you brought out, everything has been new. You have a bunch of new artwork. I love this. Life is tough with some of you, you mad cunt. This is a piece of artwork on the wall behind me, and that makes me so happy reading that phrase. Life is tough, but so are you, you mad cunt. Like that's exactly what my thought process is too. Like I go, hey, you mad cunt. Yeah, that that one, uh, that that sold. Well. That's in my shop, actually. That sold well over the Christmas. It's not for everybody, though. Obviously, like if you know. But I think it so is for everybody, Eva. It it is for everybody, but like cor- in the corporate world, maybe not so much. Like some people there wouldn't like it now. I, I you know, I know firsthand. And this is my for this is my argument on things, and my I have a fucking bugbear on this, and you are one of the bastions of light that is using words that are just fucking words, and. People, I don't know who's getting stressed about words, but they're all frightened about somebody. That, the fear is like I, I was doing this uh, the short movie with a crowd the other night, and I was we were going through it, and it's what are it's an adaptation of a of a of a full feature film, and there's the word cunt pops up in it in it where this guy he's a fucking he's a horrible human like, and he actually. He, the word cunt pops up and they were going on the night when it's shown Tom could we change that word because I said, we can but it it's, it was definitely it's there for a reason like yeah it's, it's, it's punchy like, yeah, when you're a, at, yeah yeah quite literally he is punching somebody while saying it oh okay <laughs> and, and I went but we can if, I said but who do you think he goes I don't know who'd be upset and I don't and, I, and at this is the, the discussion I had with him who's getting upset by words are we all is there somebody's secret 
that's actually getting upset by words because I don't I don't so, hang so around with anybody who gets upset by words yeah me either like just someone coming in the back going oh yeah, we let him know I'm upset by words just that one though just that one yeah like, just that one yeah. like how does the word bicycle not upset you it's the same thing like you know that's it like and it's different countries as well like I know Americans they like, really don't like oh, that word oh they pissed the bed all together really over the world like oh that for word. fuck's sake but um, yeah no it's like I think sure you, you just don't know like I gave a talk in the National Art Gallery there um, last week it was uh, last weekend brilliant and, and there was there was like you know an older crowd there older than like my usual crowd that yeah. came in and I was saying to myself would I do the presentation that I was going in here to do thinking that there was going to be younger people here or mm-hmm. would I tone it down a bit and I was like no I'm just going to do what I was going to do and I was coursing it all and to tell you like that some of them were mad posh and they didn't care because they knew that they were there to listen to my work and what I was actually talking about and a course word here and there wasn't going to kind of like do you think do you think that's okay do you think they can reconcile with that then because we well we're in the arts environment and you know I, I don't know I think it's because if you have something kind of maybe interesting to say or people like are like hooked on what you're saying they don't really care if you curse but if you're talking absolute shite yeah, person then I think people are more offended like, that's so a I think valid that's, point I think yeah, that's, yeah. but I don't believe this shite that like if you're like basically like people who curse aren't intelligent I actually think that, like, uh, you can't just base it on... Do you know the way people say, like, oh, well, it, people who course, like, you know, they haven't got the, the vocabulary, and that's why they course. Like, I think that's, that's you know... I think that's a cop-out yeah, for I them. Think, yeah, I think yeah, it's a yeah, cop-out. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 big time. It's it, funny, though, but, yeah, I don't get it myself. Like, it's, yeah. It's, but I, I think you're right, because if you do... If you heard somebody who was just waffling about the weather and they were able to stick a load of swear words into that, you're kind of going, uh, save them, save them. Do you know yeah, what I mean? They're yeah. good, they're good words. Yeah. But like as you said, if you're if you're speaking and there's a good delivery of what you're saying, there's actually a bit of weight to it. Curse words are fucking delicious. Like they, they are. I think so as well. Like that, nothing would wake you wake up even better in the morning than watching the weather and going on these cunting clouds over here. Yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> I I would actually watch the weather more if it was like that. I It'd be amazing. I used to do a bit on stage where I was like, who would listen to the news faster if they went evening fuckers opened with evening fuckers? Yes. You know what I mean? Or yes. you've got a letter out from the bank, come on, come on to fucking pay us. You go, yes. yes. Uh, no, but I take your I take your point more seriously. I absolutely would watch the news if it was like that. Now I think it's just I do watch the news anyway, but like I'd watch it even more if it was like that. I don't know. It's just yeah. Because you even have like you brought out badges and everything, little enamel badges. Yeah, yeah. I need to buy the. the I, I think I went to buy one of the cunt ones and they were gone. Oh no, it's, I have some of them there. There's one or two of them I think that are gone now. Though, like I only made ten of each or something. Oh, was it? I still have a few in there, so I'll give you one for a go. I will wear your cunt badge. Everywhere. It was just, I said, that is just exactly what should be said. Like, it was like, because it, it provokes people, doesn't it? It provokes it. And because you've written it so, because your, your, your artwork is, makes me happy to look at. I don't understand a lot of art, but your stuff, because it looks happy. Do you know, there is a oh, happiness yeah, yeah. to it. Like, you know, the, you, it, you go, that person drew, it, she drew that with a smile on her face going, this is a bit of crack. Now, this is class. Because some stuff I don't, like Banksy and all these people are really I understand that they are trying to get a message across but sometimes I'm like oh I wanted a bit more crack yeah, you know yeah, what I mean yeah. but that's just me like I you know, know what you mean. but because your like your your text and everything is so happy and bubbly the word cunt written in the middle of it makes me just even double happy because it's like this is kind of pissing people off but because it's written in such a happy way <laughs> it's, I was really surprised that like, like that, that print sold really well with that word on it and then I had like um, I done three different necklaces as well one said nope on it which I thought was actually going to sell the best because it was just black and had like you know nope and white writing so it would go with everything but then uh, I had another necklace saying gee bag on it Oh yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. It was yeah. like a luminous yellow with like this sparkly <laughs> kind of like turquoise, like like ink or something on it. And um, do you know who are? Who? Um, you know, have you ever met Lynn Ruan? Why does S- that name sound very S- familiar? Sender Lynn Ruan. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Really? She, she wore in the doll. Stop. I think you are the doll. Yeah, she told me. I because I wrote up going like, oh, you wouldn't be able to wear that to work. And she's like, watch me. And I think she wore it in. And she said she got a few looks and people turning away. And Brilliant. All. I was like, oh, what a legend. But that's that's kind of what I was my my next joke then, like, because I can think of girls and blokes that, I, but I can definitely think of girls that would wear those kind of things. But because I think there's a bit of a rebellion kind of going on in to like it's kind of saying, hey, would you ever fuck off? To all the softies and all the fucking stiffies. Do you know the people who are just... They're, they're just shouting from the rooftops for no fucking reason. I think there's a lot of people who just kind of want to go... 
don't you ever fuck off? Oh, yeah. Can we not just all fucking plow on like there's a lot of that now like it's yeah like sure like it's, oh, I don't know like it just feels like like people have more to complain about now and they just like people just love giving out but I think there's a kickback coming from normal people like us though who are going would you all ever fuck off at yourselves there's more important things to be worried about than half the things you're oh, showing that you want to hear my nana do the day I was in bits laughing like I was sitting there and uh, um, what was this? Uh, Prince Harry and Meghan uh, Merkel came on TV and uh, my nana just goes and I'm like, oh, what, because it's the royals? And I was like, okay, I kind of understand, because they're all over the news. But no, it's the complete opposite. She's like, she's stray, she's leading him astray. She's very bad for him. And I was like, hang on a minute now. Where is this coming from? Why do you think this? Right. And I was like, she's like, she's very bad for him. She's, she's never followed the rules from day one. And I'm like, okay, there's royal rules. I was like, what rule does she not follow that like pissed you off? And she's like, even on her wedding day. And I'm like, yeah. She's like, uh, she wore an off-the-shoulder dress. You're not, yeah. meant to, you're not meant to show your shoulders. And I'm like, okay, fair enough. You're 73. Okay, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. But like, really? That's that, that annoys you? Like, I'm just like... I suppose oh, I, I it's know. the fact that... I mean, and I even I was talking with my wife yeah, about this, and I she wouldn't was even think about that. I wouldn't even it wouldn't even cross my mind to go. Oh Jesus, she's an awful bitch. Lead them astray. I couldn't give a bollocks. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean? But people, people are gas. Well, I suppose the whole royal thing is is a weird one because even because I was going, what's people's problem? Because I didn't follow it. My wife doesn't really follow popular, but she knew about this because she happened to read up on it. She goes, apparently, there's a bunch of rules of being a royal. Off the shoulder, yeah. your heels are only supposed to be a certain height too. And yeah. Okay. She. Although I did see a very funny meme this morning. It was a uh, note to all men. <laughs> Harry made this woman a princess. He gave her a palace. He gave her, and he named out all these things. And the bitch still isn't fucking happy. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, fair enough. That is pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, there's a, uh, like, uh, etiquette rules. And I think it was the fact because she was being all American going, I ain't following any of that shit because I'm American. Yeah. And I think that was, and it's very easy to say, led away. But also, if the royal family is worth hanging around for, he would have hung around for because he's making six million a year as for being the oh, fucking exactly. Duke of Ex- Wessex or whatever he is, Ex- or Sussex. Or whatever it is, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. Like, And that, that's what I was saying. I was like, I actually, I said to around to my nana, I was like, I actually don't think he cares. I don't think he even wants to be there, to be honest. Because he doesn't, like, he, he doesn't know any better. Like, that's all he's ever well, known. Well, he has no other, like, it's not like he's ever going to go on to be king like William is. No, Do you know no, what I mean? So no, exactly. he's no like, real yeah, responsibility exactly. in that sense. Like, think of how, how weird that would be, though. Like being a royal for like the best part of your life, and then going out into like the real world, like for the first time. It's like a sitcom. Like he's just going to like be going out, going to go. Great sitcom. Oh, it, it, it would. Yeah, great it would. sitcom. It, I, I would, like I, coming I would, to America. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. I'm telling you now, there's gonna be a show about that. Uh, we, we're saying it now. There's gonna be a show about that. Definitely. Let's there, write there it. Let's not put this there. Let's write it. Write it. But like now, imagine like how weird that would be for him, like just walking around. Like it, it must be like being on a different will, planet. Like will he, he ever get got... to? No, I don't think so. Because even he came, uh, like there was, there was, it was on Twitter the other day. They had footage of, of him coming off the plane in Canada to meet up with the wife and child. Yeah. But it was two security guards got off him. There was a car waiting on the tarmac for him. If he wasn't waiting for his bag on the carousel, like we, no, you and I would, no, you know, no. wipe and sweep, sleep no. out of her eyes. Oh, he's never going to have a normal, normal no, life. No, like, yeah. You know, but, but yeah, it, this would be a relatively normal life considered to what he had as well as what he like, gets, yeah, guys. I know. I and can't even imagine that. But so people weird. were going, oh yeah, but you know, he has to answer to, like when he was a royal, he had to, have to answer to, to his, all his actions and all the rest of it. And I went, mean, yeah, but if you're taking home six mil a year, you better believe you better be fucking answering to somebody for it. Like, oh, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And taxpayer money and all yeah. and whatever else. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. that's a fair, a fair old public servant gig to get. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't mind taking it myself. Now, to be it's fair, if they do join Instagram, like, they make six million a day. Oh, yeah. You know what Especially I mean? Especially if they made a double profile. Like, you know, like, yeah. do you ever see the way the travellers go? <laughs> like, if they made, if they I made knew it. you were going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> but they made it. But it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Megan and Mar- Meg- Megan by Martin X X X, and it's like a profile. Do you ever see? Do you ever see some of them go oh. really far out and the profile split in two? Yeah. And it's like the girl and the fella, and then every profile picture after that, it's like you know this shit's free, lads. You, you don't have to share a profile. Yeah. Like it's grand. It's, oh, I think I it's s- for ch- it's for cheating though. I think I think it's to keep an eye on cheating. Oh, it's for sure. And people, it not, is, like, that yeah. people like not trust the people there. Yeah. Well, why else would you want to share your Facebook with someone? I never, like, I never. It's only recently somebody mentioned it to me and showed me a load of these. Pro- I was like, what? Why would you bother? 
Yeah, it's a what? thing. It's gas. What is a thing? Yeah, it's, it's an actual That's thing. It. They're going to be really interested, though. It's, yeah, it's, oh, it's, Megan, it's gas. Megan XXX Harry forever, forever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gas. Tell me now, like they'd make a mince doing that. Just split the profile and have. And it's, like, it's Harry today. It's me, Harry. <laughs> I'm making these DVDs. You're going out there. You're saying I'm... <laughs> oh, God. What's they in Canada now, though, aren't they? Apparently yeah. so. But you're thinking the world is their oyster. Yeah. Like, can you imagine it? Like, oh, yeah, What like... hotel wouldn't want them? What resort wouldn't want them? Oh. What, who wouldn't want... Like, everything they touched will turn to gold. Like, oh, regardless. I know. Like, it, it's just... Oh, God. It's just, yeah. It'd be, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, I don't know. Nice. I don't know, like... I mean, from their point of view, like... Uh, did you watch that show, The Crown? The Crown. No, I didn't watch The Crown, but it's I heard, well made. I heard it's, it's brilliant. It is very good. Like, like that actually as well. You know, it's very good. Like, but is I, it kind of like a Tudor's kind of like and is it kind of that kind of vibe where it's back in the olden days? Kind it, of and, and, and it starts and it works forward. Like, so ah, it okay, actually cool. ends up being like we're into this on this one, the second queen. Like, so it starts ah, from when okay, they're yeah. just about be, she becomes the queen. So whatever the forties, fifties, oh, very interesting, and then works all the way forward. And the major stories and like. I don't know what they have okayed a lot of it. Like, I mean, the sister is a complete seshmat. Like, like the whole way through it, the sister was a com- is a complete lunatic. Like, just sesh, fucking wake up, sesh. Because she's like, I've got no fucking job. You're the queen. All I need to do is just rock. Well, that's what I'd be afraid of. If, oh, if I'd I go was mad. like that, yeah, I'd oh, go oh, mad. I'd be the same. Like, I'd be just there going, sure, I don't have to do it now. Like, I'm just, this is me sorted. Like, I've got, like, everything. You, you would be very unhappy, I'd say. But in saying that, though, like, at the same time, like, yeah, you, you wouldn't know what to do with that kind of money. I, I, I wouldn't anyway. I'd buy a lot of shit. I reckon I would be a raging alcoholic. When there's no, when there's no restrictions on you. And quite literally somebody... Yeah, there's no, that's it. Like, you, you could you, wake up in, like, if you want to go get drunk or do anything, Aoife, you physically have to get up out of bed, put on your clothes and go down to an off license and go f- drink somewhere. They can wake up in bed, in a gorgeous bed, as somebody pulls the curtains and says, good morning, madam. And brings a tray of vodka you... in. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Brings like, in a fucking... Here you go. You're grand. And you can just go, what would you like for breakfast? I would like uh, Doritos. I will go straight to the vodka. Thank you very much. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's a different If world. it's that easy to happen, like... Yeah. I think I before I'd get to that stage though where I'm having vodka in bed, I think I'd like, you know, I'd have a little fun with like having money. I'd pretend that I didn't have money and I'd go in I've said this before, but I'd go into like the likes of like Brown Thomas and all and pretend like, you know, I have no money and I'd pick, I'd, say, I'd start picking up Gucci bags and rubbing my fingers on them all. <laughs> biting like, them. Yeah, yeah, you're biting them, <laughs> just biting them like and they're going over like going like, I'm sorry, can we help you? Like, you know, real pretty yeah, woman yeah, kind yeah. of moment. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I would yeah. do. And then, like, then I'd just buy every bag in the shop and just walk out and be like, yeah, you didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> and then I'd bring it back the next day because I don't need that many bags. But uh, <laughs> d- d- it's just the purpose Sorry, of I'm it. Just it's, them back it's just there, yeah, yeah, it's just the principle of it, just to say that you've done it. Like, but like, yeah, it's mad. You see, I watched him. Um, do you ever see that uh, show? What's it called? Um, Who do you think you are? No, but uh, I know what you're talking. Yeah yeah, 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 I definitely know it. I've never seen it. <laughs> I watched a clip on YouTube. It just popped up there, like, um, geez, about a month or two ago, because uh, I was getting my DNA tested, and I wanted to uh, look up this thing to see, like, kind of, like, what else y- you could see, like, people being done, like, looking into, like, family history, yeah, like, yeah. what they could find, because very interested in mine. And uh, I found uh, a video of, like, Danny Dyer, and he's, like, his 22 times great granddad or something, like, was a king. And he's like, how did I end up pudding? <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> he was going mad. He was absolutely snapping. And then he got like this big sheet of paper and brought a home to show his wife going like, look who we're related to. And he was trying to figure out like how, like, because he's proper working class. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, Danny Dot. Yeah, but he, yeah, I yeah. think he even hams it up a bit. Oh, like, I yeah, did, yeah. oh, no, he definitely does. He definitely does. Like, he definitely does. But, uh, oh, so funny though. But, um, yeah, I was watching it and he was just so shocked. It was the funniest thing ever. But I was just like, how can you not know that like, how could you not know you're related to someone like that? It's crazy, like. And we're back as I uh, really coughed up along. Yes, and you joined with Hairy Baby too. I'm just, I love this. The pox. Yeah, we've done them. I think it was in uh, 2017 when uh, my second book was coming out. So at yeah. the same time, yeah, it was really cool. And we made like, it was like hats, jumpers and loads of different bits and pieces like. I think it, it, they done okay. Like they could have done a bit better. It was around like the time, like when my second book came out. Like I didn't give it as much of a push as I did the first one. You see, so um, it was a kind of a oh excuse me, hang on a second. <coughs> it was kind of a a shy time to be honest. So like I didn't really push it. 
So yeah, I'd like to get back in touch. I think again to see if uh, we can do something else or do more. Yeah, you know, that I kind su- of way. Yeah, I suppose that's where a good. I suppose yeah. if you're the manager, you know that kind of way. Do you like, know what? I feel like I need a manager. I have an agent, but I feel like I need a manager, a manager. And, a, and a personal assistant at this stage. It's, really good. it's a reality, like yeah. especially you. You're physically pumping out physical products, like yeah. you, you know what I mean, like that are creative. So fuck it. A manager wouldn't, you know, somebody who just goes, you know, we'll do now. It's the same sort of person that would produce a play. That's who you need going, right, so when's the book grand? We'll tee up a load of stuff and we'll yeah. push. And what we'll do is I'll push the shit out of it for yeah. you. You know, that kind of way, yeah. like, so you can be left to just create and shit, like. That'd be amazing. It's like PR agent or something like that. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm not even actually too sure how all that stuff works, to be honest. Nor I. I. I haven't got a clue, actually. I know probably all the influences and stuff like that. It was PR and that's, yeah, yeah, but I haven't got a clue. There's jobs for fucking everybody. When you look at it, it's like, you do a what now? <laughs> oh, well, I think you'll find. It's like, like, I was speaking with a woman there recently at a gig and uh, she, 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 I, she was an event organizer of some sort. Okay. I d- but she had given her, she told me something that I'd never heard. I, she gave me a title that I'd never yeah, heard yeah. of before. I went, okay. And, uh, but she was, <laughs> she was kind of funny. She's like, her next big thing coming up that she was very happy to tell me about because she was telling me everything about herself, like, you know, and I was yeah, like, yeah. okay, yeah. Uh, well, she was organising uh, divorce parties. Oh, yeah, they, they, they're they getting really big in the last while, yeah. Now, here's the thing. I talk with Paul Howard, who wrote the Russell oh, yeah, Kelly yeah, books, yeah, yeah. right? He had that in his book, maybe, books maybe seven or eight years ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And I remember thinking how hilarious of an idea it was. And this woman was telling me this, like, the same way she was talking about organising fucking weddings. The, yeah. Like, she was, you know, talking about, because my own divorce is coming. Through. And when she said my own divorce, she was kind of half pissed as well. And she'd, she'd obviously been drinking way too much red wine because her teeth were now gone grey. Oh, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know, she, yeah. you know. <laughs> so she was kind of, she was a very nice woman in a lot of ways, but... In, as a, I was very sober at the time, it was an obnoxious yeah. situation yeah. to deal yeah. with. Like, and she kept on hitting my arm, and she was, you know, one of those dominant people who steps too close yeah. to you as well. I'm like, oh Jesus, I don't know what. To or be like, doing. like literally spitting in your face. She did. Oh, she did. She no. spat in my mouth. Oh, I hate that. And yeah. I never know what to do because, like, when someone spits on you like that, like you're kind of just standing there and you're afraid to wipe yourself because <laughs> then you don't know if they know that you spit on you, and you're afraid to wipe yourself because you don't want them to know that they got you. So, like, sometimes I just do this, like, I do it real subtly, like, I just be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, I, 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 everybody up, yeah. must be able to relate to that, because oh, yeah, I've yeah. asked people about this, yeah. what's etiquette in that moment? Because I'll never forget, we went to, speaking ironically and coincidentally, I suppose, it was the one and only wedding fair we went to before getting married, and we lasted 15 minutes. It was out in the City West, the huge hall that they have out there in the City West. We went in the door, and I'm like, I can't have a deal with this. It's just full of dopes. It's what it is. It, yeah, it's dopes wandering around with their mouths hanging open. Like, but I said, because it, it, you've got 50 people trying to sell the one thing. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah I, mean? I know what you mean. Is it kind of like, you know, when you go, you know, when you're going in, in in fifth year and you go to like Croke Park or whatever and they have like all the, the, the stalls set up for colleges. Yes. Around. Is it like that but it's for the, weddings? Exactly. Ah, okay. So everyone's, and yeah, okay. Get they you. have a backdrop of what their thing is, whether now... There'll be 50 pe- people trying to sell you limousine cars. Yeah. There'll be 50 people trying. And then it'd be odd, weird thing. Like, we have fucking candles for a wedding. And you're like, okay, right. But I knew going in there that my soon-to-be wife already knew exactly what she wanted. Yeah. But she was kind of smirking, going, we, we kind of have to go through. The, this is a thing you kind of have to do. I said, we don't have to do it. You know exactly what you want, what, yeah. what you want and what's class and all the rest of it. She goes, I know, but maybe the main old thing. But I, I found out subsequently that there was a photographer in there she wanted to meet. Ah, okay. Yeah, and yeah. we went straight to him, met him. We were done. We didn't need to stay the next seven and a half minutes that we stayed. But this one fella, he had a place over the north side and it was a lovely kind of a cottage venue and it would be lovely. But <laughs> his teeth looked like little burnt matchsticks. They were... The, I remember, and I could not stop looking at his teeth as he what, was they were just like really thin, really just... thin and brown and burnt, and were just. And he was, <laughs> he was trying. To, I'm like, Man, you need to get hire some good looking people just to sell your product for well, you well, because we're in, we're in the 21st century now. Like, get, get a pair of veneers. Do you know what I mean? Go off to Turkey, treat yourself. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> after Kusidasi for a weekend, get some teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Absolutely. And he, he spat into my mouth as he was talking. Oh, about, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, his <laughs> mouth smelt like a dirty bathroom as well. Like, it was like, <laughs> oh, lad. Oh, that's bad. There's no... It, you could be giving me the fucking ritz for nothing, oh, and no. I can't go with you, man. Like, just... And I, next... And I knew I was done. This fella caught a hold of me. Physically got a hold of me. Extremely camp man. And he wanted to try and pedal a, co- a suit for me. Or And I'm like, lad... With the suit already gotten, like, yeah, do you know what I mean? I, and I said it to him, I said, You know, your grand, the suit's got. And he, the guy was like a spider monkey, he climbed nearly all over me. And he produced this fucking suit that you wouldn't put under a fucking dog. Yeah, I went, I, I can't, I'm going to snap here, sir. I need to ask you to step back. Yeah, and Speaking I just yeah. I spotted the exit doors, Natasha. I'm fucking going. She goes, and she just started laughing. She goes, I wondered how long you'd fucking yeah, last. Yeah, you know? yeah. And <laughs> out the fucking door we went. And thankfully the car wasn't far away. And I had to sit there. It's like, I haven't smoked in a while, but I need a fag after that. That was, oh, Jesus. It was yeah. just, how, like, the tension I felt inside that was just too much. Like, like surely that's meant to be a nice day out. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. you, don't, you don't want people hanging out of you trying to sell you stuff. You go up. If you want to buy something, it's you go up. Absolutely you know I mean? not a nice day out at all. Oh, God. It's a complete opposite to a nice day out. Yeah, I, I've heard of them now. Like they have them in the RDS and all. Don't oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And like it'd be if you it'd be worth going if you wanted a, a subject matter to study. Do you know the kind of way? Oh yeah. Of yeah, people yeah. who just want to do the mundane. Do you know the same people that go to shopping centres for nothing to buy but hang out? And walk around yeah, with the mountain. Yeah, window shopping. And yeah, yeah. But just, just, will we go to John Drum to do nothing? Yeah, yeah, just to go out for and the day. Burn and burn time, yeah. like. Yeah. And you're like, what are you doing with your life? Go find a fucking tree or something and lean up against it somewhere. Do, or, just, or stay at home. Stop. I can't go to a shopping no. centre if I'm not going to get in. And it's like, what is the point? The pressure comes on me, something serious in these places. I, I don't, it's this claustrophobia. And that's what I felt inside this. And then when every... At least in a shopping centre, the shops aren't jumping at you to try and sell shit. These were physically people trying to well, sell. Well, the, the people in the shopping centres do. It depends on what shopping centre. Like Jervis, they have all those face cream guys. Oh, do they? Yeah, like, and you're literally just walking uh, by. You're trying to dodge them left, right, and centre on the way to the toilets. They're all like, cream for your face. And you're like, no, my face is beautiful. Don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just, just How dare me. you? Yeah. How so, fucking dare you? They, they never, they, they, they actually never ask me. Like, they, they have a, they definitely have a, um, uh, a, a demographic they're after a demographic they're after yes because uh, I remember I, I tested it out one day when I was in the Javers and I walked by and I kind of you know didn't look him in the eye or anything but I walked close enough that you'd have to ask yeah. me and he didn't ask me and I was like huh he didn't ask me and I was like and then, then I walked by again and he didn't ask me and I was like and I stood against the wall then I watched everyone else come by and I was like oh okay okay I get it now I get it now and it was like literally like the same woman the whole time yes. like, like yeah, the same yeah. type of woman like, yeah. like the one that you'd see on like a dove ad or something like that like it was gas and I was like okay but I was like does it even matter like who's buying your products if they're like spending money on it like do you know what I mean I, yeah but the reality is like he probably looked at you and went She's going to see straight fucking through me. Yeah, maybe that. Maybe and, I, yeah. and she is not going to spend a ton of money in the shop oh. and then my job becomes null and void. Yeah, that, that's that's true. No, I used to always do that for like, uh, when I was walking up the road, like when people tried to sell you stuff to say that you're 17, you can't get it. Or people knocking on the it's door say that you're 17. I don't I know if get I'll away. get away with that. Uh, well, I can't get away with it now myself. Like, But I used to, I used to do it and it was brilliant. Because do you know what? You I'm going to fucking say it the next yeah, time. Yeah, you should. Sorry, I'm 17. <laughs> I'm still in school. Yeah, yeah. No, it, <laughs> that, it, it works though because uh, they can't sell you anything, and I only know it because uh, I actually worked door to door for Dogs Trust. Like, oh no, yeah, 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 yeah. Door to door, like, and I know, I know from that, like, when someone says they're seventeen, you can't actually talk to them about it any further. Like, so Ooh, they, they, yeah, yeah nice. so so it's a nice and handy one to have. Like, but um, yeah, it doesn't really. I haven't actually had to use it now in a while, but like, oh, it came in handy once I knew that though. Because you know the way it's awkward when you don't know how to get out of those. You're like, oh, I'm kind of busy. But now you just go, oh, I'm 17. Just walk away. Oh, yeah, there is the... So... Oh, you see, they see you coming a mile away and they're smiling at you. And you're like, no, <laughs> you're just walking by. I hate that. Oh, I was around Stephen's green. Hey, oh. hey, how's your day going? You're like, this is not your entry point, man. Oh. Trust me. But I do, I... Do you know they talk about natural resting bitch face or whatever? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have that. Do you? Oh, yeah. I didn't think that you would have that right uh, now. No, I, do, I didn't think... I. I probably I I, dev, I had it all the time back before I ever became I've met a good woman too and she softened me out oh, you know, yeah, the kind yeah, of way yeah. I, I was walking around like a fucking ball of psycho you know for <laughs> yeah, years yeah. for years but also but I didn't realize I had it until she pointed out she went Jesus Christ Tom 
you look like fucking thunder walking around the place. Thunder Do walking I? around these. And she, she sneaks to you. I never, never forget, we're sitting in a lovely pub having a lunch in Glasgow one time. And she went, to, herself popped off to the jacks and she took a picture of me. And my face basically was sitting there like this. Just did, for the, for the people on the, uh, the people listen audio wise, it's just an ignorant face. I sit there with this fucking, like I'd burn you. And I don't mean to have it. It's That's just what my face is doing. And apparently she was like, there's a reason why chuggers don't come near you, Tom. Have you seen your face when you're not, when you're concentrating on where you're walking? I wouldn't come near you. Oh, no. I, I'm the same now as well. Have I'm you a weapon of a face? Yeah, yeah, no. I, I, I Have you a weapon of a face? No, I definitely do when I'm walking because uh, I'm so concentrated on where I'm going and there's so many idiots around that you have to dodge. So, like, I literally just, like, I, if, if someone walks into me or anything, or someone's walking too slow. I have no patience. I have no patience. Like walking up Nassau Street is the bane of my life. It literally is the worst. Street I do to think walk it's, it's indicative of, of self-employed people, though. You yeah. have to be getting places. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be fucking yeah. getting places. You yeah. can't be wasting time fucking no. around. Like you gotta be getting places. No, and like when people are in your way, like it's just like I don't know what it is. I just have no patience. Like I won't be rude, but like if someone, like if someone's like you know holding the door open. And like, you know, I, I'm walking in and I always say thanks, but like if I'm holding it for someone else, they don't say thanks. Oh, jeez, I, I, I see red. Oh, I make a point oh, of going, yeah, I make you, a point of going, you're, you're welcome. welcome. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, you prick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, and it's, it's always, and it's never the same sort of people typically, but of late middle-aged women who are very busy. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what's wrong with you, you bitch? Surely yeah. at, at some point through, through your childhood or I don't know, maybe you just physically didn't see me. You just, you're in such a zone that the door magically opened in front of you. Yeah. Maybe you are. You're not being rude. Your brain just can't figure that a door, somebody yeah. opened a door for you. I don't know. But I do think a lot of people are, are being put on different types of tablets too. That was something a doctor told me. Because uh, I was going, the rudeness level is coming up. And they go, as they are, but it's as a result of lack of awareness. I says, what's scary is the amount oh. of, yeah, lack of awareness is a big thing. Physical awareness. So are you saying that people are on tablets and it's making them rude? It's not that they mean to be rude. They're just not physically aware of, there's Aoife. I do not even fucking ah, see her. Yeah. That would make see, sense. And so also, are so we out, have like. to be constantly perceptive because you're picking up on life things because we're both in uh, the comedy world or whatever. So you, yeah. you do have to be aware. And also, you're self-employed. Your every waking minute yeah. has to be thinking about how the fuck do I make fucking yeah, rent yeah. next? You yeah. know, and you're not on anybody else's time. You're on your time all the time. So you yeah. have to be staying sharp. It's fucking tiresome. Oh, yeah. But if you work for, say you work in a sweet ass fucking, or you don't work, but your bills are being covered some which way, or you do work in a sweet ass fucking government job, well, really, you're probably only putting in five hours a week, but you're turning up for 39. Yeah, yeah. Did you get me? Productive-wise, yeah. you're probably only knocking out five to ten hours a week. Especially if it's something that you don't necessarily want to do, but it's, you're just... Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just zone the fuck out. Yeah. And if all of a sudden then, like, my old one went to the fucking doctor not so long ago, and it was for uh, an old broken finger injury she okay, had. Yeah. And it was just, there was a f- cyst forming on it in where the bone had broken. It snipped the fucker off. Two stitches job done. Immediately, the doctor went, now, can I put you on any an- antidepressants? She went, for a busted finger? What? She went, yeah, well, like, I mean, if you're feeling down as a result and feeling sorry for yourself. She goes, but I've... And I'm, my mother is such a fucking... She's such a beast. She went, I've t- fucking nine more. Thank you very much. I'm fine. And she wandered out. And it was only later she, she was talking with... Um, I suppose she shouldn't have disclosed it really to a certain degree, but now she didn't name names. A woman who was a nurse in the the same clinic, and it's a local enough clinic, in yeah, South in South Tipper area. And she was like, half the town's on antidepressants because the antidepressant companies are pushing them big style, like on the and it's. I'd well believe it because the same has happened to me where I went in like to my own doctor, like and not that she'd hand them out easily or anything like that, but like I literally went in. And kind of said, like, we're obviously before I didn't know I was autistic, I yeah. didn't know what the fuck was wrong, but I knew that I was down and I knew that I was like struggling with anxiety. But I knew that they weren't the two only reasons why, I yeah, knew there was something causing me to feel these other things. Cause, like, like, for example, like, I was anxious because I had to go out and do kind of things that everyone else can do, but some things I couldn't do, and I put myself under pressure to do, because my family would be like, oh yeah, you have to do this for everyone else, you know that kind of way? Yeah, Those kind of yeah, things, yeah, yeah. Anxious. Like family occasions and yeah, things yeah, like that, yeah, yeah. So I'd be anxious, and then like, I got really down then after my dad, like, but when I went in, I was like, 
oh, I just said like, um, yeah, like this, that and the other. And then I was put on antidepressants. I was putting them twice and I never took them because I always knew. I was like, this isn't the answer. I was like, there's something else. There's something else. And I knew it's it. It's too I soft of, it. No, of an answer, I knew isn't it? it? Like, yeah, yeah, it's too soft of an answer. I'd well believe it as well. Like, sure, like, look at, you just have to look at, like, the way, like, the states are in, like, in certain states as well. Like, and getting people like, hooked on the fucking yeah, things as well. Like, not yeah. antidepressants, but, like, like, like opiates and stuff. And, and yeah, all. Like, yeah. like, it's so scary to see. Like, it's, it's a, and like it, even like over yeah even over here like with like uh, antidepressants it is a big thing and there, there are so many more people on them but then you wonder like because I know you can get addicted to those as well yeah it's hard to get it's hard to get off them you have to be weaned uh, and, off and them to as clarify, well so it's not like something that's gonna just you know some people definitely do need them like, oh yeah you know absolutely. what I mean they are absolutely. definitely do need absolutely. them absolutely but like I, I mean even you walked in and you were feeling these you know the mental anguish or whatnot. And you are fully within, you know, everybody's fully within the right to take. And it would have been completely justifiable. But like, but my old one, who's a very sparky woman, like, and on top of things. But for goes, a finger, that's a dick. Like, yeah. And she's like, well, now, you know, Mary, like you're pushing on middle age and things might be getting. She goes, yeah, but I just recount when I am getting fucking down. I recount the good shit and go, all right, let's press on. Yeah, yeah. Like this. is. Oh, wait, this is all great. Let's move on. Yeah. You know, like so. She well, now she a very extremely strong woman came from an extremely strong mother and extremely strong father. Yeah, you know, so she's from a very lucky background. But like, what I'm saying is, you you were able to what and what did you turn around and go? What was your method then? I suppose oh, you got diagnosed with. Oh well, yeah. Well, I, oh, I had no method after that then because like I didn't know what was going on for ages. I just didn't take them because I knew that like I wasn't like. Oh, I knew that I was struggling, but I knew that I wasn't, like, that bad that I'd need to take them. Like, mm. you know, I knew that I could handle it myself, and I knew that there was other reasons why I was feeling that way. But uh, it was only after, that was in, um, <clears throat> that would have been kind of November. Then it was, like, early kind of, uh, no, it was about April then when I found out, um, April 2018, I found out that I'm autistic. But it was about a month before that when it was only suggested to me. So yeah. it was only a month before. Because I remember you came up to I was like, what the wait, hell? I was, I met you in... We met in, uh, it was like the launch of the Vodafone or something, I think, in 2018. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you came over and you were like, Tom, I have something to tell you. I was like, what is it? She's just, I'm fucking autistic. Would you believe that? I just thought I was mad. Yeah, it was bad, though. It was, it was so funny the way you were saying it. You were like, you're out to find it out. Tom, would you believe it? I found out I'm actually African. Would yeah. you believe it? it was the way you said it. It was just the funniest yeah, no, it's it's literally it, it is mad to find out though, because you're kind of like, oh, okay, that makes all the sense in the world. That uh, makes all the sense in the world. Did that make life easier? Then you were like, right. It made life easier then because I understood myself. Yeah, and, uh, yeah I was yeah. able to explain myself better, and then other people could understand me better. And yeah, like it made all the sense in the world. And then it kind of it also like helped me to understand myself better, which was a huge thing as well. Like, and then it was great for kind of like material, like for comedy yeah. as well, and those kind of things. Now I wouldn't like to kind of hone in on it as like one subject for like my whole set yeah, or something because yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. think that's kind of I don't know I feel like a lot of people are kind of doing that now and I know there's yeah, a lot yeah, of there's a few out there all yeah, right like leaning uh, into certain things you're yeah, like I just feel where like, do you go from there if like, you, it might be interesting to you but is it really is interesting to other people do you know what I mean yeah. like bit, bits and pieces here and there yeah but like and you, you know, can paint yourself into a corner too like you're yeah, three years yeah, yeah. down the line you're going oh all I've been doing is 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 that that team yeah 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 but, would people fucking go with me now if I change? Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. I'm definitely interested in other things to That's talk it. about, you know, so... That's, I do bits and pieces of it, but I'm writing new stuff at the moment because, like, yeah, I, I gigged a bit last year, but I didn't do too much. I was so busy with, like, my other stuff as yeah. well. Like, that I just, I find it hard to juggle it sometimes. Like you were saying earlier, man, earlier on about your man, like, wanting, like, needing a poke, like, to kind of... Like, I, that's how I feel. Like, I feel like I, I kind of need, like, someone to kind of, like, tell me sometimes, now, you should be doing that now. Now, come on, stop acting the bollocks. Like, get on and, like, you need to do this. And uh, I, I find, like, sometimes I just get lazy as well. Or I, I, I don't get motivated enough to kind of... I don't get the right motivation to be writing as well. So I feel like uh, I need kind of, like, a break after a few gigs to get then go back and write because I'd be fucking exhausted yeah. after gig and I yeah, love yeah. it, but I'd be exhausted. And I feel then, like, that there's this kind of... Because uh, obviously, um, this is my third year down now. And I feel kind of like it's um, there's this culture of like, you know, you have to be kind of out almost like every week, like a couple of times a week, mm. maybe a couple of times a night. And if you're not like, you're forgotten about and it's harder to get it's back true, in though. again. It is. And it's harder to get <coughs> back in again then and to kind of build that kind of trust up. But I know something that I was doing as well. Like I would go out and do my gig and just come home. 
and that's what I said. Like I, I just go home after. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't hang around about, and I wouldn't like really kind of stick around to talk to anyone. And it wasn't because I was being rude. It's just I didn't really want to be sitting there bitching or anything. Yeah. And I didn't want to be kind of like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like and these kind of things. But I feel like from doing those as well, like I've kind of like you know secluded myself a bit. So I want to go at it again this year and kind of really go in on it. So I bumped into the friend. He turned around. He goes, are, "Are you still doing comedy?" And I was like, "Fuck, that's bad." So I better get stuck back into it. Like, uh, oh, yeah, sure, what happens though? Like, you know they're only up the road, sure as well, yeah, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. Well, that listen. I mean, also, it, it's it's just like I think like everyone has that panic, but like it happens. Like, and if you're going through something, you have to take that time to sort yourself out. It's no point uh, putting yeah. yourself under that pressure. But it's not you know like you. Mean? Like, it's not like you were you know scratching your arse. You had a ton of artwork oh, to get through. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? I had to pay the bills. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. And pays then the bills, there's yeah. there's work coming in then as well. Not just producing your own stuff, you're producing stuff for everybody else. So how does that's an interesting one? Because how does your work come into you then? Who's who's vying for your work, or is now is there a bunch of a bunch of would say PR agencies and stuff like that, and agencies who just know Eva and have their on the, have their on speed dial like? Yeah, so it's kind of well, well, I don't think anyone have me in speed dial now. Like to be fair, like that'd be amazing though because Wouldn't yeah, it? yeah, it would 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 it? Excuse me, an emergency it. situation. Yeah. We need we need some brilliant art this second. Who yeah. do we call? They have the special phone for Eva. It does a spe- does for me, yeah. No, it's uh, no, it does be grand. Like, um, I do a lot of work for advertising agencies. Yeah, like, and then like you know, I'd go around and pitch my work to them, and go in and show my work, and then like basically, you know, what happens is like they'll have a client, and they'll be doing like just say an illustration job, and then they have like uh, a few other illustrators in the pot. So it's really kind of down to like what they suggest or yeah. what the client picks. So it's kind of like look at the draw, really. Sometimes like at the best of times. And then, yeah, like for that stuff, that that's how that would work. Or like, you know, other people would just contact me directly through my website. And then other than that, then like, um, yeah, like PR agencies contact me to kind of like give me stuff as well or to kind of promote stuff. And that could be killed sometimes because I'm, I'm not actually an influencer, but I'll take the free shit. Like, you Absolutely. Know what I mean? like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone yeah. says like, yeah, someone's giving you something for free. What like, have you got for you not free? Take it, like, I've got a phone. Um, I got, Did you? I got a Huawei. Uh, a, a Huawei. Huawei, yeah. yeah. Huawei, I got one of them. Uh, about Apparently the Chinese ago. are watching us or listening to us oh, through geez, them. Oh, jeez, that's why I gave it to Kev. <laughs> 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 you can watch him. Uh, no, but um, I got, yeah, I got one of those and uh, it was actually gas. They sent me out a gift box there, not last Christmas, the Christmas before. Um, and I had a few little bits and pieces, very nice, like, and there was a there was a little Christmas bubble in it, right? And do you know the way you can put your own picture in a Christmas bubble? Yeah. Bubble? Yeah, they, they, I don't know why, but they just took a random picture of me from my social media, and it was a picture of me and Ray Darcy, and me and Carl just hang on the tree every year now as a joke, because it's just <laughs> fucking ghastly, just Ray Darcy <laughs> on the tree, like, it was random, like, but, um, yeah, I got, get random stuff like that, like, and then I, I got a voucher for a shoe there just before Christmas, I'm waiting for their sale to be over, so the shoes go back up, but sometimes I get decent things, yeah, like, wouldn't I, I wouldn't ever take anything that wasn't relevant to me, though, or something I wouldn't yeah. use, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd take stuff that, like, I'd use and that's relevant, I wouldn't, because otherwise it just piles up, it's, you know. <laughs> it's like Halford sending you, like, a fucking camping set. You know? <laughs> oh yeah, like there's some some of this. Like I got a Mac Vitti set before, full of biscuits, and trying to they they wanted me to bake something, and I had to wear like an apron and stuff. Like and <laughs> did you I, do it? No, I never got around to doing it because I only had three days. I was, I was going away. Yeah, I actually did just eat the biscuits. I did. <laughs> that's I know. what I would do. I, 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 I'm a bastard. But uh, no, it's a uh, no. Like, that's that's yeah. Like you uh, you just get like an email going. Oh, can do you want to do this? And, to, and people send it out to you then, like, but uh, there's this whole thing about, like, social media where, like, people are going mad going, oh, you didn't say SP, or it wasn't an ad. Like, people don't be saying it to me, but it's more about the influencers. What? But, like, yeah, like, basically, once people are posting up stuff, like, if, just say, someone sent me out something, and they told me not to, they didn't tell me to post it, that's gifted. So, basically, you post up, and you'd have a hashtag saying gifted to let people know that it's a gift and it's not a job. And then if you're posting up, just say you're oh, like fuck. an influencer and then you post up like, you know, you're getting paid to, to promote like Coke or something. And you're you're posting up a picture of a can of Coke and you like a uh, yeah. like, taste that they have out or something. You have to put ad on it then to show that you're promote, you, you, that you're actually getting paid to promote this product. Right. But at the same time, like I'm not being funny. I don't know if these uh, are actual laws set in place. But, like, the only people I ever hear giving out about them is people on uh, social media groups, like, on Facebook, like, just looking at people because they're, they're sick mind, of them getting free shit. My, like, you know it's my mad. mouth hanging open here. I have no concept uh, of what uh, you're uh, talking about. Oh, they just go, they go mad. <laughs> These people go mad when they see other people getting free stuff and they can't understand why they can't. So, they, they, there's this whole thing where people go mad now, like, if there's no ad or sponsored. But, like, I'm not being funny. 
like you'd have to be some tick to know not know that someone's like selling something if they're constantly talking about it on yeah. friends. Like why do you need an ad? Like it's surely common sense that you fucking know that. Like do you know what also, I mean? Like it's it's mad. Like so I'm conscious of that like as well. I like, don't want to be putting my foot in it and having people going after me. Because you can actually get fined for it now and all. What? There's like yeah, there's like uh, this like oh it's 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 loads into it now. Like there's like fucking what? Yeah, you can get fined if you're not posting up saying that you're like like this is an ad or something like that. Like if people report you, you can get a fine. But I don't know if people have actually got fined, but people have got warnings all right. Yeah, yeah. Who's fining you? Uh, Instagram. Oh, it's like the oh, it's like advertising authority Ireland or something like that. It's uh, it, that might not be the actual thing now, but something like that. I can't remember the acronym for it, but uh, <laughs> oh, it's crazy. And it's like apparently in the UK as well. If you have over thirty thousand uh, followers, you're uh, then like um, you've got the same status in their eyes as a celebrity. So you have to be like uh, um, uh, hold yourself to a certain yeah you have to be holding yourself to a certain standard and you have to kind of like be doing like following these guidelines like it's what? mental I know yeah it's mad. Did they knock the fucking crack out of everything? I know don't they? that it's happening loads like that's why I went off like social media for ages. I was just like oh do you know what like people are just always moaning these days like it's like and I wouldn't even mind. It's hilarious. Like, did you ever notice that like the people are all like oh fucking nothing but full of snowflakes around here. It's always them who are the snowflakes because they're the only ones who are moaning. Yeah. Do you ever know? Do you ever know? Yeah, that? I actually have oh, noticed that. My all right, God. yeah. My head does be melted. But I, I often it's gas like it's really. I funny. often wonder about these people that do they sit at home, and they have so little going on in their lives that that's what they can stay busy with. Oh yeah, like that's what it is. You need to find a ball or a fucking <laughs> group. A ball, yeah. You know what I mean? A group to hang out with because. It ain't it, like it ain't healthy if you're getting concerned by people not putting a particular fucking hashtag in a thing. Oh, like. that's absolutely what it is. And, oh and my it's Jesus! It's so funny, like it's like to be looking at these, like when people are posting up, going, "You do know that you're in a group with like a couple of hundred thousand people, but there's only roughly about like maybe fifty who comment regularly, and you're posting up moaning about this." Like yeah, you really get... must have nothing going on, and people are looking at these people going, "Jesus, like that's embarrassing," and they don't even realize. Like it's like, <sighs> you know, you're, you're putting your opinion out there, like, but like it's just kind of like, like, like these people are putting their opinion out there, and you're just like, do you not realize that people are just watching and judging you, like, on what you're posting as well? Oh, you'd like, be guaranteed. Like, you be guaranteed they're oh judging God. it. You like those what? those Facebook groups to be cast up. I I I, I don't comment in them now, but I'd be in it. I'm definitely a lurker. I, I, I and wait, which type of, types of groups like groups of it's just like random I won't name any names like, but like there's just random groups like with like women in it or, or people just talking and like oh Jesus the, the, the fucking shite to just go down and like scraps and all yeah I had to back out of one one time um, and it was this nonsensical row was started and it slightly involved me but it was kind of saying about a thing that I was involved in Oh, uh, is this is this a, a group for uh, people that do what we do? Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know that group. I've had a, I've had a run in in there. But, but like, this yeah. we're talking now. This must be four, four or five years ago. And and I tell I no, I tell you what it is. It was myself and Jim Elliott. Oh yeah, yeah. No, Jim, Jim always wanted to record a comedy album. Oh well, why don't we? I said, and he went. Do you think we could? I said, sure. Look at, let's fucking try, and let's a bunch of comedians who aren't signed. We'll call it fucking comedy all-stars yeah, yeah. for the crack because it's ironic in that we're not signed so we're clearly not all-stars yeah, yeah, yeah. and be underground comedians so we picked a name I says how will we do it and now this must be six years it must be six years ago at this stage and we quite literally wrote out as many comedians as we could think of that were in the general Dublin area because yeah, yeah. there was no point in bringing lads up there was no money in it like it was yeah. free in we were just recording it and, and whatever and uh, so we, we must have gotten 40 odd names we had 10 comedians, including ourselves. Yeah. And um, the night went on grand. And as it happened, at the time, there was quite literally two women doing comedy. So the chance of them getting pulled out was, there was maybe three at the time in Dublin, was low when out of 40. They didn't get pulled out, nor did they have a problem with it. Yeah. Along with the other 30-odd men that didn't get pulled out yeah. either. Uh, there was also no black people. There was nobody over the age of 40. And, and this, this all got pointed out on this fucking thing one day. Because Jim, somebody who was, or somebody posted about where you can buy the comedy album. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, another fucking sausage fest, I see. And I got tagged in it by this person. I don't know how they tagged me because I'm not friends with them. Oh, was this like a comedy thing that you were being tagged in because it was all men and there was no women on it? That, like, that, that, this, this is the shit? issue. This woman came on and who doesn't live in Ireland. 
Oh, okay. So cool. Didn't even qualify to be fuck. But it was like, hold on, this isn't a public service. This isn't the county council doing it. This is. Uh, do you know what? Yeah, like I kind of feel. Yeah, look, I, I I'm on the fence about this one because like, and this is why I don't really talk much about these things either because I'm afraid to, to put my foot on it. But like, I do understand like that. Obviously, like I think that the whole like the the, the whole the whole fa- phrase of like, oh, well, there just isn't that many women in comedy. I think that's bullshit. But I also think that like when people are saying like, oh, well, there's not enough people on this lineup but like should it be about talent or like gender like and it's got to be talent it, it's has, got to, to be. it has to be talent if like, it's a meritocracy it's got to be talent but it has to be talent like and that's not to say that like you know like do you know what I mean like I, I think that it has to be fair and it has to be based on like talent if you're going like sure it's just like if you're, I, I know it's a completely different scenario but if you're having a party like if I'm having a party I invite people that are going to get on yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah yeah that's a really good I point I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. just invite loads of random people that like don't know each other because it would be a shite night like yeah. you know what I mean and I feel like that there's this kind of like you know well there needs to be equal like just say like six men and six women, but like if you're gonna like look at numbers like that, then how do you know who's really <laughs> good? Like, and I that's what I like just be wrecking my head about these things because I look at it so logically, and like some of it just seems so silly to me. And I know if I said that out loud, like people would go nuts. But, but I don't mean it in that way. But it's you know what I mean. Like, anybody it's, it's, who it's has any one. logic inside of me for, will know exactly what you're saying and go yeah. But again, it's almost like the we can't say the word cunt because somebody out there is going yeah. to get upset. I don't. I can't. Yeah. Uh, this crazy woman, and uh, it was crazy the stuff she was coming out with because she got put back in her place by the two two female comedians at the time that were quite literally there wasn't that many comedians. There was an explosion maybe four years ago. Fucking comedians came yeah, from everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, but around the, there wasn't because a lot of people had gone to the UK. That's what had happened. But she got put back in her box basically by one of the girls. It was fucking brilliant. And uh, she just went, would you, you, she wasn't having any of the answers that were coming. It was like, the names were randomly picked out of a hat. Yeah, people. But quite yeah. literally, we had a hat, Jim's hat. Yeah. And we did it in the Exchequer, Exchequer Hotel. We were having a pint with, all right, that's number one. And that's not, so there was a load of people that didn't get picked. And it was like, and it was just a, it was just a brilliant, would you ever shut up, you mad fucker. People, <laughs> moment. Just, people just love to have like a and it was on that I went alright I, I enjoyed watching this whole thing unfold Evolved, because yeah. as far as I was concerned myself and Jim had done nothing wrong we had done nothing wrong we yeah, put yeah. on the gig it happened to not have a load of different people in it and the honest way we we picked people for it was this but regardless yeah. it was a private picking it was put on by us it was organised by us advertised by us if we wanted to have nothing but people from Kerry in it yeah None of your business. That was the thing. But that's what I mean. None of your like, business. Yeah. If we, now, if it's a public forum where you're asking for selling tickets and all the rest of it, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta play ball a bit. Like. Yeah, yeah. But this was our little thing. But we still had opened it up evenly. But it was. Just, I just remember going right. There is no sense to be made of the world. Back out of all groups that I'm in because I can't fucking deal with yeah. that. Because if, oh, you, you're, if be, you're better off, if like you met face to face, yeah, you could have an, a decent. A decent chat, yeah, nine yeah, times out of ten. Yeah. But when it's on a keyboard, you're like, oh, no, you, you can't. This have, isn't real. And people just get angry as well. Like, and the, the funny thing I find about it is, people who are trying to prove a point, and they get angry then, like trying to prove a point, and like they're frustrated, but like they're being really rude, trying to get it across to you. Then, and you're like, that's not it. That's not how you do that. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? If you explain to someone, well, this is why, you know, this and also you're, working, like, you know what you're I mean? fighting like, with one arm behind your back writing. If, oh, yeah, it's like not it's anything, it. it's not even relatable. Yeah. You're type fighting with both hands behind your back because it's... There's, yeah, like there's certain material I've been like, like kind of thinking like, oh, should I be doing this now? Like, are people kind of like looking going, is this... Do you know what I mean? Like, it, that's kind of like what put me off like writing some new stuff as well because I was kind of like... God, am I going to put my foot in it someday and say the wrong thing? No. Just gonna, do you know that kind of way? Listen, just I've been, saying, that's nothing, going on, the, I've been I mean? saying nothing but the fucking wrong things. And do you know what the worst has come from it? Not. Oh, well then, What's yeah, going to yeah. fucking happen? Yeah. Nobody's going to come up and fight you. Oh, no, well, no, yeah. And I tell you here now, the fucking, the people who are bitch online would piss their pants in front of you oh, to yeah, have the yeah. row in front of you. They yeah. will never do it. Yeah. So That's take, very true. It's very true. In the same way you brought out those beautiful badges and that sign with the word cunt on it, Take that same level of, would you ever all fucking relax? Relax. Yeah. yeah. Take that same level and take it into your stand up because pe- and people buy into somebody who's been genuine, but, and your, your stuff, if, if you find it fucking funny, then it's probably going to be fucking funny. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, well, you'd like to hope so, yeah. <laughs> listen, there'll be stuff where you go, all right, that's not working. 
because it's just not working. Yeah, yeah, I'll come yeah. back to it another time. Exactly. Like, do you know, but yeah. that's just material in general. But the content, nah. Yeah. It, no, I was thinking, like, I was like, oh, God, When you watch somebody, now, I know he's a genius, but you watch somebody like Bill Burr, and he, oh, had, yeah, yeah. okay, he has the following of the world, and he gets away, you can get away, at the, and as he admits, I can say things now, and come away, and get away with material now, that I couldn't when I was unknown. Yeah. It's just a fact. The whole people in the arena, or the theatre, are there yeah. to see you, so they'll accept everything you have to say. Yeah. But, he's one of the few comedians, who would have the nuts to turn around, and do what he did in his last special, and it was so beautiful. He turns around, and he went, he walked, he was he got he was changing subjects and you could see he was off one subject. It was no real segue, but he turned around and he went, Do you know what's funny about sexual abuse? And went silently over to his bottle of water, opened it up, a good twelve, thirteen seconds must have passed. He left that phrase sit there. Oh, that's good, yeah. And yeah. people were kind of shifting in their seats going, going Oh my god, what's he gonna say? Is, yeah. Because it's Bill Burr, you can confidently sit back and go, He's gonna turn this around. And he'll make it fucking funny. Yeah, regardless, because yeah. he's that fucking good. But the fact is, he took all that time to open, take a drink of water, put the lid back on, put the bottle back down, and kind of size himself up, have a good look at the room and go, right, now I'll fucking show you what I'm talking about. But the fact he did that on purpose. Yeah, oh going, yeah. I'll poke you fuckers. Yeah, and yeah. who I really want to poke is the fucking wa- person watching me for the first time. Yeah, yeah. Because I'll still fucking make you enjoy yeah. this. This is funny is funny. If it's yeah, funny yeah, and you're a good enough writer, you'll make it fucking funny. Yeah. Do you get me? So I definitely wouldn't worry about fucking content. Fuck that. This is yeah. I do, yeah, yeah, I, I, I do really just thinking about it. Sometimes listen, say, yeah. the, like you talked about, the actual snowflakes that are out there, are they fucking gals who call people snowflakes? Your average person, they just they worry about a handful of things, Eva. They worry about That's very have they true. the rent? That's very true. Have they the rent? Well, that's will, what I worry about, yeah. Will they get an old ride maybe once in a while and do they have the dinner and maybe an old drink? That's a, really all that's concerning your average person. And then the stuff out in between, are you making them laugh? Yeah, that's true. And I, do, I think there's a kickback coming from this whole... Who, people who, who went either uber-liberal left or uber-liberal right. I, the majority of people are up the middle going, ha, I'm enough to be worrying about now. I, I, I definitely would say that I'm in the middle because I... Oh, half, you are, for sure you half, are. Because yeah, half yeah. the time I don't know what the fuck is going on <laughs> in the world <laughs> see, like, and, and I don't for, want to kind for of... For the mad jokes on both sides, that's not good enough. Join our team, Eva, or don't fuck. And yeah, yeah, yeah. People are all about teams. That, but that's it. Like, like when I'm talking about, like, uh, like the only kind of like, uh, like I, 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 I talk to people online before, and like where like someone will jump in, going like, "Oh, you're left," and I'm like, "What? What are you talking about? What have you even said?" You know what I mean? Like, I try to stay out of all like like politics and all these things because. I just don't want to get into it. Yeah. I don't think I'm intelligent enough to be talking about it. I'm the same way. I don't know do enough know about I mean? it. Yeah, me either. Like, do you know no, what? It's, yeah. Neither do most of them. And yeah, the dangerous yeah, thing is yeah, yeah. they're talking oh, now totally, like they do have totally, something to talk totally, about. Totally. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, it's gas. No, I, lo- I love those kind of comments when, when uh, people come on though. Like, I seen one there today I shared on uh, Twitter. It was like someone who posted up, like, they posted up their artwork or something and it was a, uh, it was done on Photoshop and then someone wrote like a comment underneath like and being real snobby about like using Photoshop going, oh my God, you used Photoshop to draw? <laughs> That's not what it's used for. And like you want it, oh, th- there, was a, there was a line in it that was just brilliant. Like it was so funny. It was like, uh, it basically said that like, oh, hang on, let me see if I can get it now. Right. It, it's very funny. Just to show like that kind of level of like where people don't know what the hell they're talking about. And, uh, I just I'm guessing it. this wasn't an artist that was commenting. No, I don't think so. I think it was someone probably trying to wind someone up, but I thought it was very funny the way it was written. It was like, LOL, Photoshop is in a photo editing software. And then uh, this is this is um, my uh, favourite part here. This one right here. It says, uh, it goes, uh, uh, Photoshop is hardcore. Casuals can't handle all that greatness. Beautiful. Just like, yeah, yeah, what sure are you talking about? Yeah. Like, but like, I feel like half the time people are posting stuff like that. Like, they're just doing it to wind people up, and people but are just biting at it, and then just posting it. Like, it's you know, like I and the only real insight I have to this, right? Years ago, I did this thing for TV Three where we went. It was a ghost show, right? And we went looking for ghosts. Yeah, right. And I found it very funny. Oh yeah, no, I'd like that. Now well, no, you'd yeah. like this show. You'd actually like it. It's a bit of crap. It's on you. It's on my YouTube channel. It's forty about forty eight minutes long. It's the actual show. They gave it to me because they didn't fucking pay us any money. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> to be fair, it was kind of a pilot, and I did it with Gordon Hayden, and we had a right bit of crack. We went down to our actual paranormal investigation stuff going so on. Just kind of like your man, like Derek Accord. Yeah, a bit, like this, a bit, but not quite. Like, are you out there? Although he died, I think last week. Didn't yeah, he? it was. It was very recently actually. Um, but it was. Um, we sold it well, if you get me. Yeah, like. yeah. We sold it well, and it was unbelievably well shot. 
unfortunately, your man who's who's who filmed it and edited his move back to fucking Poland. I think he was. It looks so good. That was really yeah, what sold it. Professional, yeah. But uh, it was down in Loftus Hall in in Wexford, where supposed there's some great stories about ghosts and all I'm the rest. Definitely gonna of it. watch that on YouTube. And uh, but I put it up. I don't post a lot of things. I put. Do you know what goes up an awful lot is the audio from my podcast. Yeah, That's yeah, what most yeah. and me doing silly cooking videos where I curse all over them. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Just on purpose, so I can just ruin the whole video, so it can't be shared anywhere. But that's just me being an asshole. Like, but um, it's got he had like four or five, four hundred thousand views the other day when I went what 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 what, and I turned off notifications. I turned it back on, and brrr, the amount of people that are having rows back and forth about ghosts. And In I'm the going, comments, that's who? hilarious. I put long shit. I'm going. Who has the time to be writing on <laughs> YouTube videos? A uh, fair play to fair play balls to your man Tom fella. He went up there and he didn't know. And hey, fuck this guy and fuck and you're go. What the fuck, lads? Go out of the house and go for a walk somewhere. You need a hobby. This can't be what you do with your lives. That's what people people have no patience anymore because they just get so triggered by like little things that people say in line that aren't even directed at them, but they just get so. Oh. There was a guy who had a go at me or had a go at the show or some fucking thing. I don't know, had he? I don't know. I, nor do I give people a fuck. Are, people are gas. More so I was going, you took the time to write that. Would you go fuck off and get a hobby? Yeah. Click stamps, do something. Like, this is just terrible. Don't be writing comments under this video I put oh, up. The, the, the people don't know how they come across as well. Like, I remember, like, I got this really funny one there about, like, two or three years ago. And it was just unexpected, you know, that way. Yeah. Like, it was a... Uh, uh, I won't say the name of the show and I won't say the, the actor, but basically um, there was this show on RTE, basically it was only new out and I was watching about 10 minutes with my nana now and it was a crime show, it wasn't this year, a couple of years ago, wasn't mad into it and I just felt like, do you know the way sometimes like that the Dublin accent, the, like the north side accent yeah. can be put on a bit too? Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it's yeah, kind yeah. of like, it just comes across really kind of like, oh I don't know, it just doesn't feel authentic, you know, yeah. you know that kind of way? And uh, basically, I seen someone like that I knew who worked in an ad agency post up, and they were like, uh, "Oh, this." They, they named the show, going blah blah. blah it, it's awful, shite, isn't it? And I was like, "Oh," and I, I literally just commented underneath. They didn't tag the show. It was. Yeah, yeah. uh, it wasn't even a hashtag. It was nothing. Just an opinion. Uh, just an opinion. Yeah. And I posted underneath, going, "Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't watch after listening to your man's voice. The 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 fake Dublin accent just done it for me. That's all I said. And I wasn't being nasty or anything. It was just. It was a genuine. A, a genuine." Observation. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have posted it up. No, online. fuck that. If you I felt to say it, like, but why that's, not? But that's but that's the way I felt about it. And uh, your man must have been googling the name of the show, the actor, or, or look, Goog, write the name. Right, he was writing the name into Twitter <laughs> of the show, looking to see these comments. So he's seen mine, and he start going absolutely ape. And he goes, "That was me who you're talking about in the show." Brilliant. And I was like, "Great." Like, I was like, "You, you look like an idiot." Like, and he just started going mad. And then he started going like, "Who do you think you are?" No, I hate your stuff. Like, you, you are making money off working class people. You're a D four and all. I'm like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "What, what the hell's a mentor. I was like, "What's going on?" Wow. And then I was like, "I was like, clearly first time ever yeah, for him on television yeah, by the sounds of things yeah, because." Yeah. And I was kind of like them. I was kind of like. I, I literally was just like I was really gobsmacked like I was like what the hell's going on and he's like I'm from town I'm this that and the other and I'm like that's cool you don't need to explain yourself oh, wow. to me like kind of thing oh and then he Lord. then he goes oh, I've got I've got loads to say to you and I was like oh fine then I'll go here's my email I sent him my email and didn't the cunt send me a long he did not essay. he did he sent, me, <laughs> he sent me a long what a lunatic he sent me a long essay of why he doesn't like my stuff and the, the stereotypes and he, he follows some guy who talks about stereotypes and why they're wrong and all this shit and he started saying like why he doesn't like mine but he didn't actually have a valid point of why he didn't like it and then he said that I was like making money off this that this that and the other and crazy and I actually sent him a lovely message back going like listen to like hold on wasn't he pay- getting paid to be on a show doing a strong working class accent yeah yeah. but, but this is the funniest <laughs> thing about it this is the funniest thing about it and like, doing I, it badly I got, I, got, I got back to him and I was, I was just nice back because I just I couldn't be arsed getting into some getting into something like that with some dope like do you know what I mean I turned around and uh, yeah like uh, and I actually looked up another video to find the video of online yeah. And he was putting on the fucking accent. He was. He was going mad of because, he was. because I thought that it was. Do you know what I mean? Ah, oh, but like people like are like like I know I'm sensitive, but like that's you can't be po- if you're if you're it's in that kind of job, you can't be going no. mad at people like that. Like, it looks very bad for you. Like, it, it looks especially terrible. Especially like. when it's it's a serious drama. Like you come across as a complete douchebag because yeah. it'd be one thing. Like I remember, 
I remember they was, they was... It's common sense, not to do that. You know, like for f- me it is. The few bits yeah. I've done on telly or whatever, you always... Like, especially the first few times when I was doing things like... And you're playing a character or whatever. You do you Google yourself on YouTube or on Twitter or whatever. And you're really... They'll be, most of them are positive, but there'll always be a few. Oh, yeah, I remember the first few times it was it, like, yeah. oh, come on. It was like a dig in the chest. But I had the common sense to go, do not reply. No, no, Because no, immediately... No, really, yeah, yeah. Look, this is just somebody's imis- initial thought. They would never say it to your face. No. Not that I was feeling sorry for Moretton, but I also I got, I looked like some knob. I, I, that I was checking my own name. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I look like a knob yeah, yeah. if I mention it. Yeah. So if nothing else, I'm like, ah, shit, I can't say it. Yeah. But as years go by and you do the, another couple of bits, you're like, all right. It doesn't matter at all. I've done it myself before, like in the beginning where I've looked up my name, kind of going, Yeah, like, oh, of course you do. Like, yeah, everyone does that, like whether they say they do or not. Like, But if you're in the public eye and your work's being shared, like of course you're going to do that because you want to see what people are saying. Yeah. And also, well, why else are you doing it? But that's it. You, like, you want to see, yeah, exactly. But at the same time, like, yeah, don't read the comments. Like, just no. like, stay away from that kind of like, 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 took me a while to kind of like not get like kind of the only time I'd go mad at someone now is if they're, they're storing absolute shit about me and it's not true and they're talking like, yeah like, well fair enough that's then. the yeah, only yeah. time I'd step in like and that, that happened last year like, and just, oh Jesus yeah like oh that's one for off the podcast like, I can't <laughs> talk about this one like, I don't this want is it juicy. it is oh it's juicy it is juicy but like Jesus like, like yeah like it's just people just yeah People just being people, I suppose. Like. Well, fuck all of them anyway, for starters. Ah, yes, exactly. Tell me this. I'm looking over at the Unpost Irish Book Awards. Yes. Fucking how awesome is that? It, it's mad. It's, uh, Tell me yeah. about that night. That, that I was, it, it was, it was weird because uh, I, I hadn't, I, I wore like my uh, dress that I wore to my graduation and all and didn't get my hair done. Just wore my own makeup and my runners and bra heels with me. Like I wasn't kind of, Expecting to win or anything, so I kind of just so who, 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 who gave you the invite, like, shall we say? Because oh, you, you had two books out at this stage, so, you have so every had, business being I, there. I had two books out, and then, um, yeah, so the publisher, um, got the invite in, and then like we went to the, the awards, then like on the night, and then there was like all the other publishers there, and that yeah. kind of thing. I bumped into my old publisher there as well. I bumped into them actually on the night that, um, we were um they, where they were, they were launching it, like where they were kind of calling out the shortlist and stuff like that. They didn't know that I was shortlisted, it was really funny. So I was like, oh, yeah, because uh, I think the publisher actually has to put your name forward um, for the books, for the list. And, like, oh, so is this all right? They, and they, yeah, so y- y- all the publishers, I think, put the names forward and then they, they pick a list then from that, I think. Okay. I, I think that's how it works. Like, I'm not too sure. And who's the judging panel then that p- you know reads what? those books? I, I couldn't tell you <laughs> right. who the judging panel is. I haven't got a clue, actually. Um, I know there's a judging panel, I think, and then like there's it's a voting kind of system as well. It's one of those. Oh, so while well, it's I'm, fair, so yeah, well, yeah. It, it is fair. Like yeah, it's fair. Like but while it, it's fair, like I do hate those uh, voting things. I hate ask. I hate begging people to vote. But like I hate like that. It's kind of it's 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 just a marketing tool. Really, oh, yeah. You've got to generate like you know more yeah, money yeah. from ads and websites and clicks and all that kind of shit. But uh, no, it was amazing like to go like and because I'd never been to the convention center either, and I'd never been to an awards show for books or anything of the sort. So it was really exciting, you know that way. Class. And uh, the meal was really nice, and then we were just kind of sitting down there, and they were calling out all the awards. And uh, they done like a short list. It was like a video where they showed all the books in the short list, and then they called out the name. Just like the, the Oscars. Yeah, just like the Oscars. Like so, I did. I didn't. So have what a, category then did you come up on? It was the children's book of the year, junior. So there was a junior and senior kind of section. Yeah. So mine was in the junior, and uh, yeah, like I was really shocked when they called it out. To be honest, because everyone who was in the category with me were like literally like tops. Like one of them I interviewed in college for a college project. Stop. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you beat somebody you interviewed in college. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking class. Yeah, yeah, it was it was mad. Like and like just stuff like that. Like it was kind of it was a big deal in that sense where I was kind of like, wow, okay, I did this. This is mine. Like I I won an award for my books and stuff like that. Like it still hasn't really sunk in. Like because half the time when these things happen, I don't be expecting them to happen because I've never had a plan. And that's what I realised for this year. I know I have a plan this year, but I've never had a plan. So I've never been able to kind of let these things sink in because it just happened. It, like, I know people might go, oh, geez, yeah, they just happen out of nowhere. Yeah, you fucking arsehole. But they do. Like things like... I, I yeah, just, yeah, yeah, I, it yeah. Just, no. just, it's, it's like um, a domino effect sometimes. Like So I kind of trying to keep up with certain things. But like even I had that like I had the flu as well. So like I didn't, I, didn't, I couldn't. I, did, I literally was sick like straight after the award. So I, did, I was working as well. So I didn't even have a chance to let it sink in. So I have to kind of like just kind of sometimes that's why I have it up there now. So some days I'll just look at it and go, yeah, okay, it's real. Well, it, it's it's <laughs> it validates what your work yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Like, yeah. You know what I mean for the reality yeah. of it. 
this has been absolute fucking treat. I wish we could talk for fucking longer. Ah, we we always. I know, yeah. We, we we did talk some shit though half the time though. Like, Honestly, it'd be great. Like I love having a chat with you. Even before, well, before we what we're both getting good at po- pickpocketing. Where can we learn how to pickpocket? Because we, myself and Eva were saying the amount of people now to walk. We were talking about shit drivers and shit walkers as well. Yeah, and yeah. shit cyclists and. People walking down the footpath, we both do the same thing. We purposely stay, hold our line and walk straight fucking into them. Oh, yeah. But if we just get good at pickpocketing, we can make a fucking fortune. Oh, absolutely. I know not a lot of people aren't carrying cash anymore, but still, we can find something. Yeah, you, but you just go for the cards, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Contactless yeah, yeah. now, you know. Oh, contactless now. Yeah, we we can buy a ton of shit for up to thirty quid, it's six just, times a day. You're just, you're, just, <laughs> just going in, you're just going into like a shoe shop, like a shoe, a pair of shoes for like a hundred quid, just like tapping every card, like thirty quid. That's the yeah, top yeah, side yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, gas. So uh, tell us, uh, for so people can keep on top. Well, what's your shop and everything? Because oh, you, yeah, yeah. you have to get your some fucking badge. You have to get. Oh man. Life is tough, but so are you, you mad cunt. I just love that so much. So that's is is that a print then? Yeah, where, that's a print. Who they, prints that for you they're, then? They're a tree. Um, I usually get them printed in Angel Print, uh, which is kind of in Hackett's now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. On uh, Baggett Street, so they're they're quite good. And I used to use them for college as well. Like, but they're, uh, they're they seem to be better since they moved. Oh, they love the yeah. first day. The first one came out on the printer. Oh, and somebody's. <laughs> uh, I think he's used to my stuff. The oh, shite, fair enough. Oh, yeah, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I'm sure he's seen it all. But I'm definitely getting some new ones printed as well for the shop and a few little bits and piece, new pieces going in. So the shop's name is called uh, OnlyMassive.com. Uh, Brilliant. So not OnlyMassive.com, uh, OnlyMassive.com. I'll put it and in uh, the show notes yeah, as well yeah, yeah. so people can click through. And, uh, yeah, then, uh, Keep a follow on you. Where's your, where are you most active? Instagram or Twitter? Uh, Instagram and Twitter I'd be most active. Like I'm not really on Facebook that much. So yeah, like Instagram and Twitter and it's the same handle. So it's uh, Aoife underscore Dooley. Brilliant stuff. Aoife, as always, been an absolute pleasure. Thanks for coming back. Thanks very much, Tom. Cheers. And my thanks again to Aoife. Thank you very much. But we've got to talk for a couple hours. What an absolute legend. Don't forget to follow her on all usual social platforms. Aoife Dooley, there is no other one, really. She does have books, of course, on the page. But go to her onlymassive.com. Go to her and just have a gander at the amazing stuff she's she's put out there. So she's actually got jewellery out. (laughs) I actually want one of these badges. It says soft cunt. I just love it. Says it on it. you soft cunt. I love that. Onlymassive.com. Eva Dooley. Like I said previously, if you wouldn't mind giving it a look at the link I put in for the I Donate from Natasha for the hair chop that she's doing. And it's all for friends of um, St. Luke's Cancer Care. Also, somebody is going to get a wig full of hair. It'd be great if you slung a couple of euros at it. Anyway, go for it, gang. I'll be out in the middle of the week with another ramble pod. Enjoy your week. Go handy. God bless. <laughs>